Hey there, YouTubers. Not sure if this video is going to be all that interesting, but I did a previous one where I had emptied this out, so I'm going to show you what goes in here. As I said, I have a lot of... This is pretty big for a Class B. This is a pretty big storage area. Um, this side is empty. This side I didn't empty, but what I keep in here, what's still in here that I keep in here, is a small saw, which might come out. Um, pressure regulator, a little bit of my Duraflame, a hose, filter. Um, back here is one of those clear dump tubes, as you can see, I've never even used it yet. Cause Again, I don't try to use my uh, onboard bathroom all that much. And under there is a indoor-outdoor camping mat that most everybody's familiar with. So let's start putting some stuff in. Okay. First thing to go in is a tarp. So it's good to have a tarp. Whether you ever use it or not, they're good to have. Good for covering firewood, stuff like that. And here's another couple of those... Uh, and door at the mats, probably more than I need, but they're always in here, so I'll put those in. Next is my uh, screened room, 12 by 12. Gives me a lot more, it's like 144 square feet, which is probably bigger than my RV. Um, but it has a floor too, so I keep that in there. Jumper cables, because you, you should have jumper cables, even though I have the uh, Duracell battery pack to jump it myself. It's always good to have those. A short piece of extension cord. A bigger piece of extension cord. Again, might be more than I need, but, but it's better to have a couple more things than you need. Next, that's a small uh, air compressor for filling up the tires. Runs off 12 volts. I have a larger one that my neighbor actually just fixed. Um, I don't know if I'll take this with me in a Class B, but if I ever get a travel trailer or something like that, this is a good thing to have. I think they're uh, new. They're probably this is probably 130, 150 bucks, and I got this gifted to me. And again, my neighbor fixed it for me. Just need the hose. Next to go in is my propane grill. Uh, you can see that fits in there pretty well. I still have lots of room. Next to go in is going to be my little uh, shop vac, that one gallon trobby. And as you can see, it's all in there. Next to go in are going to be two of those folding camp chairs and that little silly cat tent. I usually carry three folding chairs, but this time I'm just going to do two. And those fit in there quite easily. Next is going to be my awning rod, which obviously opens the awning. Next to go in is actually a good high quality 30 amp extension cord. It's always good to have those. Um, the other two that I put in there, I rarely, if ever, use. Um, sometimes I can use them if I'm going to use electrical appliance outside and I can run it off the RV or straight from the post, but you should always have a good 30 amp fuse or cord. And that goes in here with the hose and all the hookup stuff. I'm actually going to put this handsaw in. This is better for cutting real wood, tree, tree limbs and stuff. And I laid that right there on this side. So as you can see, there's still lots of room here. And there's still a good amount of room in here. Here's the tool bag. Inside the tool bag I keep some wrenches, I keep a C-clamp, a hammer, and just some various nuts and bolts and electrical tape. And inside the RV I keep uh, some wrenches and I keep tie straps. I have a multitude of tie straps. They're a wonderful thing. You can use them for so many things. From securing things inside and outside the RV to uh, 
all the way to fixing hoses if you lose a clamp or something like that. So I suggest that everybody keep some tie straps. And sometimes I carry a few more tools than that, but usually that's enough because I'm not going to rebuild the RV on the road, am I? And as you can see, that's right down in there. There it is, inside. So I still have quite a bit of room. Okay, that is a foldable cat bag in case something were to happen to one of the cats that I needed to take them to a vet or needed to carry them somewhere longer than I can just carry them in my hands. Even though Vinny might not fit in that anymore. But I shove that in there as well. And you can see that laying back. And this is something silly. I always take a baseball glove. My, my favorite glove. And I take a baseball, obviously, and tennis ball usually are inside the RV. And sometimes I even take a spare. But this time we're just going to take the one. And that can just get thrown right there. I'm going to throw a second Duraflame in here. Sit right there. Sometimes I take my DeWalt drill, but this time it's not making a trip. As you can see, I got extra tarps, but I think one's enough. I also keep a backpack. This is just a one arm over the shoulder backpack in case I'm taking the bike somewhere and I need some extra storage. And inside I keep, uh, inside the RV, I keep my camera backpack. So there we go, YouTubers. That's pretty much what I keep in the basement, whatever you want to call this part of my RV. There's still room down here. A lot of space. And as you can see, there's still lots of room. And I don't have a lot of weight in here when you really think about it. Nothing all that heavy. Um, so, And I can shove more stuff in here if I need to. And I shove like extra clear garbage bags and there's another door flame. Here's some straps to hold the awning down if it gets windy. And every RVer should have a tire repair kit. These are really cheap and could save you getting to a place that can fix a tire if you have issues. So I keep that there. I have more storage area there. Usually the cats are just in there. But again, 99 Leisure Travel, one of my favorite aspects of this thing is all the storage room it has. Got the top down, and just so you can see, it is closed. It is not bulging up or overflowing by any means. And the pad is down, and still tons of storage space in here. So a Class B can have more room than you think, even when you got a big bed in the back. Alright, YouTubers, have a great and wonderful day.